this is what we call the rider room. And uh, everyone has a rider shrine. This just happens to be mine. It says, you know, we, we are Saskatchewan Rough Rider Boosters. And they wore these hats on the Grey Cup train in 1966 going to Vancouver. This is a dinner, a dinner program from 1965, and it's autographed by Jack Dempsey and Gene Tunney, who were, were boxing legends at the time. It must have been a great dinner to have those, those guys there, and that's for sure. Gainer Gate, Should we, can we call it Gainer Gate? It seemed that way for a while, didn't it? People were so upset about, about the gopher. It kind of all started innocently taking my son to uh, rider fan days and going to practices and collecting rider autographs and stuff like that. This used to be his room. And then the rider stuff stayed and he moved out of the room. <laughs> We've got helmets from Vancouver. I've got things as, as far away as Nova Scotia. That again, a lot of those people lived here at one time and moved away. I guess they want to repatriate their rider stuff. We don't really sell rider items. We, we acquire it for, we're end collector, I like to say. This cool little radio from 1976. <laughs> you know, the sound's terrible. But it still works. It still works. This is Jason Claremont's helmet from the 2009 Grey Cup. Oh, we had the 13th man. He spikes this helmet on the ground. That's, that's that helmet. This is uh, one of the original pieces of turf that were in Taylor Field. Oh, and this yellow bench. This was from Taylor Field. And this was the three seats where my family sat for 20 years in Taylor Field. Yeah, last game at Taylor Field was an emotional moment, absolutely. Um, I was there with my family. Oh, look, I'm choking up a little bit just talking. About, it's, it's been nearly four years now, and I still apparently have a little, some feelings for the old Taylor Field. I mean, I grew up there watching football there. My son grew up there watching football. We sat in these seats for 20 years. The last game at Taylor Field was, uh, was an emotional one for a lot of people. So we've never worn a watermelon, but we've worn a wheat head. People do want to come and see this room, and uh, if, if they get a hold of me through Facebook or Instagram, I'll often accommodate most of them. Absolutely. Don Narcisse is way in the back over there. I've had a few riders in this room. Chunky Adams was in this room. Had Don Narcisse in this room. He came here uh, two days before he went back to Texas. Um, he always promised us he was going to come to the rider room, and uh, in good Don fashion, he made he made good on his promise. That's who Don is? Here we have Corey Sheets's cleats. As you can see, they say sheets on the heel, and he he gave those to the rider room. Someone uh, brings over this stack of newspapers, and uh, this one on the top is from 1966 when the when the riders won the cup in '66. This is a great little history. Uh, the old CKRM guys there. CKRM and the riders seem to go back a long way. It started as a, you know, a passion of me and my son to, uh, you know, collect this stuff. And I mean, it's, you know, some of the things when, well, you know, we got autographed at a fan day and you go, wow, they won the great cup this year in like 07. Wow, they, this ball now is, is really special. And, yeah, it's hard to explain, I guess. Spiraled out of control. Yeah, it just spiraled out of control. That's a very good way of putting it. You know, some of these people, their item might have been sitting in a box down in the basement, something like that. They feel in here, it gets displayed, it gets appreciated.